Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining again back on the Taste Tour. Still at the Mitre, right off the Royal Mile here in uh, Edinburgh, Scotland. Um, have a lager here now, out of a, a uh, keg, obviously. This is the Innes and Gun Lager Beer. It's Scottish. Small batch Scottish beer. It's 4.6% alcohol by volume. It says craft brewed. You can see the glass there, very cool. There's the tap handle for it. I like doing it this way, I figured it out better having the, so you can see the tap handles and everything. Anyway, Innocent Gun Lager Beer. That's a solid lager. Very solid. Nothing super, you know, nothing super great about it, nothing super fancy about it, but good. It kind of has... It kind of almost tastes like an Italian style lager in a way. That, that kind of, it's got that kind of biscuity thing. It's more mild than like Peroni or Beer Moretti with the biscuity type thing, but it's got it a little bit. It's like sort of a mixture of that and Peroni kind of thing. Hmm. It's, it's, it's good. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah, I did too. And normally lagers aren't like my favorites. Very cool glass. That's good. Not too... It's funny it says that with naked gold notes. It does taste a little oaty. There's a little bit of an oat yeah. thing. I wouldn't say I knew it was oats, but... There's something like, different. Yeah. It, like, when I first drank it, I thought it doesn't taste like a... Right, like, it doesn't taste like oatmeal, but it, it does have an something, you know... When I taste it, I was like, oh, it tastes different, but I don't know what it is. Right, same. That's exactly how I felt. Anyway, the Innocent Gun Lager. I like it. I don't know what yeah. I'd rate it. Probably like a seven. Uh, yeah, but I like really it. It's good. good. Actually. On to the next one from the Mitre. Rolling. All right, rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, back at the Mitre uh, in Edinburgh. Got another brew here. This is, you can really see the Nicholson's label there, with how dark this is. Yeah? Almost. Yep. Yep, yep. Cool. This is the Black Cat, this is the Morehouse's Black Cat Reserve. Brewed in Burnley, Lancashire, England. 4.6% alcohol of arm, so it's actually English. Got it? Cool. That is very nice, actually. Sour a little More sour than I thought. That's good. That's um definitely sour. Weird. It's got, it's got a uh, it's hard, it's got a, like a licorice like a like a licorice. Um, it, it, it's hard to explain. It almost has that when dark chocolate, like really strong dark chocolate, mm -hmm. makes your mouth kind of makes bitter. you bitter a little bit. It it feels like that. Like bitter. Well, yeah, bitter, but it's 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 a specific sensation. Tell me if you see what I'm see what I'm seeing. It's weird, right? <laughs> Look at that face. Yeah, it's like smoky. Bacon. It is smoky. It tastes like it tastes like a bonfire. Okay. I didn't get that much smoke, but okay, she's pushing this one over to me. I don't like that one. Well. So you'd prefer the innocent gun? You prefer the other casks? Yeah, fair enough. I agree. The Guinness and Gun is better. Like it's weird. The black the black cat is weird, but I, I, I like it. But it's 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 strange. So, 
We'll be back more at the Mitre, probably, maybe more, more somewhere in Edinburgh. We'll be back. Thanks for joining. So the outside of the Mitre pub, we have just exited. It's a great place, actually. It's a Nicholson's pub. They have a lot of stuff right off the Royal Mile. Very hard to miss. As you can see, here's the Royal Mile pub. Here's Tibbetts standing on the Royal Mile. And here is the southern part towards the Palace of Holyrood on the Royal Mile, which is the hill where we're gonna go. Here's a bus. And there is the north part of the pub.